So we've got 24 aqua box going in. You can see the depression down over here for all of our pump vaults. Our aqua box are gonna surround this. And then the coolest thing about this intake bay is the way we're gonna finish their aqua work, it'll actually disappear behind a landscape bed where you guys are standing right now. Later, we'll create a little access area where Matt can come in here, stand on a big flat rock, and scoop out all that leaf litter and everything else. This is gonna be one awesome intake bay. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Nothing we haven't handled before. I mean, we've obviously worked in rain a whole lot harder than this. Shacks never stopped and we had to work while it was raining. So the very good thing is, is it's blue, there's some clouds, it's sunny out, the temperature's nice. We just have to push through this. So it's gonna delay us about an hour this morning just to get everything cleaned up, ready to start working. And then we're gonna get into it. Like we have to finish this waterfall today. When I mean have to, I mean every little part of it has to be done. We have to backfill, we have to get in our frame rocks, we have to get in the support rocks to go past that. We need to get all that done so then we can move over into here and do our intake bay. At the end of the day today, what I would love to see done is that back wall done over in there. And when I say done, I mean done. <laughs> Jets done, destination boulders put in, some of those big rocks backfill with the necessary gravel, etc., etc. Not the edge work, but that would be great if it could. Waterfall done, and then the two of us at least get this thing excavated over here for our intake bay. So tomorrow we can finish intake bay and move up to digging the wetland filter. We're gonna get the pump in the water, get all this dirty rainwater out of here, and then get rocking on day six. weather is cooperating with us today. The sun is shining, the place is starting to dry out. Which gave us the opportunity to dig out the entire intake bay over here. So we've got 24 aqua box going in. You can see the depression down over here for all of our pump vaults. Our aqua blocks are gonna surround this. The aqua blocks come out into here. And then the coolest thing about this intake bay is the way we're gonna finish their aqua work, it'll actually disappear behind a landscape bed where you guys are standing right now. So nobody will ever see where the pumps and all those acorns and leaves and everything else sit in. Later, we'll create a little access area where Matt can come in here, stand on a big flat rock, and scoop out all that leaf litter and everything else. This is gonna be one 
awesome intake bay. While Brian and I work on this with Eric and Manuel, Ralph and the boys are over there knocking out this side of the pond. That should definitely get done today. So if we can manage to get this intake in, these guys button up the pond, we should be able to get ourselves back on track and headed in the right direction so that we can finish this by next week. was a doozy <laughs> look at how big it is i mean it's enormous we used every bit of that 100 foot liner that's a lot <laughs> so i went whoo wee <laughs> i thought you were doing that because of the leg workout today oh no no i'm used to that <laughs> i still got some left in me no it's incredible i just love the positioning of so many of the boulders that big one back there at the end just like draws you from this bridge area all the way back in there i think the pond's got a really cool shape which sometimes can get like really lost on something super big yes like you paint it all out and you think you're gonna have this shape but all of a sudden lines start getting straight and but no this one looks great i can't wait to see the patio finished but i can picture it we've got a <laughs> tremendous amount of work done in six days this is an epic epic pond trust me it's gonna be amazing you're gonna love 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 this pond when you see it welcome back on this epic pond build when we left you guys the pond is looking really good we've got about 65 percent of the pond finished ralph and the guys finished this side up yesterday that wall is looking fantastic this is going to get capped with some big slabs of field stone and there's going to be some planter areas on either side flanking what is going to be the center coming off of this awesome barn that's just getting a complete refurbish there's going to be a balcony up top big sliding doors top and bottom Bottom. This is gonna be a really fantastic place to hang out. Day five, six-ish. Six. Here's what I know. When you start doing projects this long, you start losing track of the time. Here's what I know for certain. Anthony told me today's Friday, and that was even a shock. I thought for sure today was Thursday. But it being Friday, here's what I'm excited about. We made a plan last night to say, hey, let's just finish a section. And it's gonna feel good to actually have something completed. So we're gonna start all the way over there by my coffee. Finish everything from there. When I mean finish, like the edge work let's get the lighting up into the junction box let's get these extra rocks done in here let's finish the jets over in that area button up all these edges set some more boulders let's get the pumps down in here and two to three reducers stubbed out from the back let's come back around this side where manuel is going to do another one of those walls right in here get a nice curve from there we can get all of this done as a team instead of one little team being over there another team being over there and another team being over here i think at the end of the day today will feel like some accomplishment and be excited about coming back tomorrow. Right now we're working on our edging and we've got our laser set up at four inches above waterline. So we knew where that waterline was, jacked it up four inches. That's gonna be the top of our fold on our liner. So if you look right here, you can see we brought that liner right up to the back of this rock, folded it inside. You, some people folded it on the outside, some people fold it on the inside. You just wanna be consistent with your fold and get it nice and tight. The hurdle that we had here, we had a big footer right here. The big challenge was 
This is hard digging, no machine access. So it took some time for a guy to dig all this out. So now that we've got it in, we can backfill and cover up that beautiful trench and then work our way down. We've got some pockets. So right here, you got an example of one of the lighting junction boxes. This is where a bunch of wires come together and one central hub. So you've got a main line coming in, making the connection and a main line going out to the next junction. So that makes things a lot easier when it comes time to change out that light. Just snip it at that back end, thread it through and pull it right on out. Make your grease filled connection and you're back in business. waterfalls and the trim and liner one thing I'm doing is obviously leaving my liner a little longer I want to make sure I don't have any problems with sinking or anything else the other thing we're really paying attention to up in this area is our support rocks so this would be considered a frame rock to a waterfall it's important because the aesthetic value of it but even more important are these rocks that carry out past it so when I'm setting these think of a waterfall so a waterfall in nature it's never sitting on a hill like this that hills a little bit more like this right that waters come down eroded away through the earth leaving back behind the rocks that couldn't move. We want to carry that flat area out this way. We don't want to see a big slope like this because it wouldn't make sense. So we look at an elevation like this up in here. We want to carry those boulders back out this way all the way at that height till we get out to about here. The bigger the project, the further that dirt should carry out. The smaller the project, the more condensed it can look. But you never want to see a berm like this with a waterfall on top. The other thing you want to do when building a waterfall, never ever trust your view from right here up on top of it. It, constantly walk back and look from the main view that everybody else is going to be seeing. Jack, you were saying we 100% need another big boulder right in this area here. It's not that we need it really for aesthetic reasons, both aesthetic and functionality. Remember, we want soil to come all the way up to here, so we need a rock that's probably this big in here to help hold that grade back behind me. Also, aesthetically, it'll help complement that big rock and that big rock over in there. Kind of this trio type look. We are up at the top of the waterfall here. We're gonna be installing our constructive wetland filter. We've already put our liner that's gonna be lining the filter in front of our waterfall liner, essentially creating our overlap. So that's in there, it's locked in, and everything is folded over the waterfall. Now we've laid out what the excavation is going to be for our constructive wetland filter. From our waterfall, we are, we are going down 40 inches to the bottom of the excavation. That's gonna leave us enough room for about six inches of water on top of the wetland. We got two feet of graduations of rock and gravel. And then below that, we've got our small aqua blocks. When this is all dug out, we will go through the middle. We will dig out the trough for where our centipede and our snorkel module will be. Then we're gonna put down a layer of rock pad followed by pulling the liner in. And then we'll put another layer of underlayment on top of that before we start to build our filter. This is monumental because this is a huge piece of what we're doing here. If we can get this filter excavated and at least get the liner in tonight, that's gonna put us really in a good spot for tomorrow because then we can actually build the filter and button this area up because the guys have tightened up most of that side of the pond. Once all that's done, most of our heavy lifting is finished. Then it's gonna be off to the other end of the pond, but we'll get to that tomorrow. First, let's dig this filter and make this happen. 